terms of a new air quality act i'd say roughly within the next five years yeah i think most of the work will be focused on our coke making operation so it's yeah just over a billion rand some of these legacy issues will take some time to be solved um, at van der park we've made huge progress in terms of remediation of contaminated land as you will see just now um, it took us a long time to get going as well, just to identify the right methods and the most effective methods. Obviously costs also had to be considered and we're quite happy to say that at this stage or now we've actually found the right bacteria to actually utilize in treating some of the organically polluted land. Spanich also tells us about the significant effect that government's proposed carbon tax would have on the bottom lines of steel makers in South Africa. Well, currently the CO2 taxation proposal that was issued by National Treasury is not feasible and it will actually have harsh consequences for our company from a financial point of view. And especially during bad times, um, the taxation figure will come close to our EBITDA figures. Um, the current proposal that is on the table uh, basically features a taxation on direct emissions from the very first ton being emitted at a modest rate. Treasury considers that a modest rate of roughly about 15 US dollars per ton. Now if you are a facility that, um, that emits 12 million tons of CO2 per annum, that's only direct emissions. If you do the calculation, I mean that's, that's a lot of money which will definitely affect the bottom line of a company. Uh, we are busy having discussions with National Treasury to have the taxation system uh, restructured. Uh, we are not against a taxation system, but it definitely needs to be restructured. And what we are proposing is that a certain threshold of CO2 emissions is allocated to the company based on international best practices. And should such a threshold be exceeded, then National Treasury or the government could actually t tax us on such an exceedance.